What is going on guys? This is Swerve here and welcome back to another Jurassic World Evolution video where today we are going to learn how to build more enclosures but this time we're stepping up a little bit. Last time out it was mainly to do with all the basics and how to basically build a nice enclosure and what we did we built around uh, here just sort of making a unique enclosure and sort of showing you the basics um, but as you can see the terrain is a little bit different now and I was actually debating to use this bit of terrain because it does look quite nice but um, I think I might save this for like an open sauropod exhibit or something um, but today we are going to learn how to sort of introduce terrain into our enclosures because it definitely is something that sort of adds uh, uniqueness and makes the game look a lot nicer especially with the new terrain painting um, so yeah what we want to do we want to find somewhere where we can actually put our sort of viewing gallery so I believe here is probably like the flattest area so what we want to do is um, come to about here and then begin let's do with small fences instead and then we want to begin by placing straight but not too straight of enclosures going up into the jungle here and then what effect that gives off is that when you do eventually <laughs> put down a viewing gallery uh, in this section you'll be able to okay it's not as straight as I like it but you can probably change it as you as you go but um, you'll be able to sort of see around this area and also in the drinking area you can also put like a food section down here as well I feel like that would probably be the best thing to do um, but again, working with terrain difficulties. So to get a good sort of enclosure going, you would want to build sort of with, not with the terrain, well yeah, with the terrain, um, but at the same time sort of building around the terrain. So here I'm wanting for a dinosaur somewhat larger. Um, I would say like sauropods, but I think this will be a little bit too small for sauropods. So as you can see, the terrain's starting to go down a little bit. So we we'll want to start bringing bringing it back and then cut through the water and then connect there um, but yeah as you can see we have this now <laughs> so let's show you so yeah, you have this and it just it just looks like the grass is going up and everything like that but if you want the terrain to stand out a little bit more um, you will go onto terrain painting and you'll go onto rock and you'll probably do it to this one but as you can see the contour lines do help me out a significant amount here um, especially with sort of steepness here because you can see the uh, line sort of stops there. So let's go to two. You can see that it's going to cover this side. So to sort of begin, you want to have like a heavy amount of rock here and just keep going around to that last line. Just follow it around. And when it starts to, when the lines start to get more wider, um, you want to sort of get a not as deep of a rock. So Let's sort of begin like this, and then you want to start um, not smoothing it out, but sort of making it smaller. And when you get to this section, just tap it a little bit, just so like the rock is very dim and it's not as heavy there. Um, but what that gives off is essentially a new sort of layer. So it shows that this is higher. This is a higher piece of terrain than this, um, simply because of perspective. So if you look like if you look there, then you can see that it's a lot higher. And I believe if you look through here, yeah, you can you can clearly tell that that's a higher section. Um, so what you can do on this higher section is sort of divide your enclosure. So let's say this section could be like the feeding section. So I don't know. Let's put let's put some feeders down, like so. And then this is like the feeding section. And then up here you can probably have like a foresty section. Um, so I'm gonna put some like forest down here. Like so, so you have like a set of forest. I've, I've left that because I'll put, probably decorate it later. Um, but you have the same thing similar here. So uh, you want to go back to terrain painting, go to rock, and probably go to the smallest one, and then simply just bring it across. You, when it does become closer to water, you can sort of um, choose if you want rock here or if you want sand. Um, it's completely up to you. But for now, I'm going to do uh, rock because it just it, I don't know, it just makes it easier. Um, but again, you can choose how much rock you want on the edges as well. So I think I'm just going to deal with that for now. And um, yeah, so I believe that's that's adding a new section. Let's do that. And we can fill in some sand here. There we go. So then, design-wise, you can see that this is sort of like... Or the guests can sort of see that this is a... Um, 
feeding section. So down here is the feeding section where the dinosaurs will come down from the high terrain to then go feed. And then up there you can see where there's water, they'll probably go to drink some water. You can see the sand which makes it look nice. But you can also see that the water is on a higher uh, ledge. Um, but yeah, so that's essentially using terrain really nicely. Um, obviously, to even to use terrain even better, um, these rocks actually sort of morph the terrain a little bit. So if you do want to put the rocks on the terrain, go ahead because it will sort of morph the terrain a little bit. So as you can see there, it's kind of gone off a little bit. So it's easy enough just to put more sets of terrain. So it does look like it's sort of embedded um, with the cliff side. So you can see it sort of, it, it, look, it looks kind of natural. Uh, so if you want to do that, you're more than welcome and you can go ahead and do that as well. So let's quickly decorate it because the feeding section, you kind of want it to be as sort of dinosaur-ish as possible, but try not to go too close to the edges because it does sort of change the rock as well. Um, and if you do want to go close to the edges, simply just make the make the brush a little bit smaller. So we're just going to do the feeding section a bit more like this. And I would advise you to put down uh, feeders after you've done all of this, because if we go to feeders now, uh, where are they? There we go. As you can see, the feeder where that one is, there's not really much grass covering it, but if we put this down, then there's a lot more grass and it sort of blends in a lot more. I don't know. Does it? I think it does. Actually, no, there's no difference at all. Okay, never mind. It, they do it with the rocks, so you want to watch out that, for that uh, with the rocks. But um, yeah, I quite like how this design has turned out. Uh, again, let's bring that down. Move it into here, and then you can sort of design the rest how you want it. You could probably do a beach here. Um, you can probably put other things. Let's just put a bit more. Blah, 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 blah. And there you go. I do also like to sort of add some trees um, in the water, especially when it does come up with, um, there we go, palm trees. It's hard to get those palm trees, but when they come up, they do look nice. There you go. Singular palm tree. It's lovely. Um, Okay, that's really loud music. <laughs> um, but yeah, so you can see that it just gives off a little bit more satisfaction in the water for the dinosaurs. Instead of keeping them all straight, you can probably do a little bit unique um, and add like a sort of, I don't know what to call it, like another tree coming off another angle. But um, yeah, so that's pretty much working with terrain for now. Um, obviously decorating the enclosure is very important. Put a few more trees, uh, just like so. Because when eventually you do have, let's say, a T-Rex in this exhibit. When you do see the T-Rex walk through here, tell me that doesn't look nice. Let's go oh, F2. Let's go into NVIDIA. You can see that this really looks nice. You just see like a T-Rex walking from that bush through here. Down there, going to eat. Obviously not with herbivore for feeders. But um, yeah, and then you can just see it. Let's go into drink over there. And the guests can easily see. So if we go back to um, the viewing gallery viewing gallery you can see the t-rex wants to roam up there you can also put like a couple of goats if you are to put a t-rex there you can put a couple of goats um up there and then probably the t-rex will go hunting up there and maybe some other carnival feeders so let's say these are carnival feeders let's say it's only one you can probably put another carnival feeder somewhere around here so yeah but again this game can be beautiful if you just know how to build it correctly like look at that 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 really does look amazing in my opinion um but yeah so Again, this this bit this bit needs a bit more more um, grass, make it look a little bit prettier. Uh, but yeah, so that's essentially working with terrain. Some people don't really know how to use it uh, correctly, and if you do want to sort of uh, learn how to put down um, the contour lines, what you simply do is go to your options, you then go into settings, and then I believe it's gameplay. And then, yeah, so you have the new terrain contour lines that was courtesy of uh, update 1.8, and you can turn them off completely, or you can turn them off when editing the terrain, or when you want construction mode. So what construction mode essentially is, is that um, if you're building a fence, you can show which terrain you want to do, which if you want to get perfect accurateness um, in your sort of enclosures, then you're more than welcome to. Um, but other means, then you know, you've already seen how it works. Um, but yeah, one final look through the viewing gallery, and I think it's a nice enclosure. I, I, I think it could be better, 
um, but with the terrain that I was given by um, Isla Nubla, you can sort of see how there it sort of slopes down a little bit more. I still think this is a really nice enclosure, and I am quite proud of it. Um, but yeah, so loads of you guys wanted me to sort of continue with this, um, how to build nice enclosures, ex um, not exhibit, but uh, uh, series, and there you go. So I'm essentially building nice exhibits. <laughs> um, I'm sort of teaching you how to build uh, with terrain uh, this time around. Last time out, it was with the basics, so just sort of decorating it, making it look nicer, as you can see. Um, but yeah, one thing I could have done, I could put a few more rocks and place them in random locations like that just to make it look nicer. Or I could have used this tree 5 because again, when you do get a chance to place them down, they sort of look perfect in my opinion. In their own little forest area. See, I, I think that's amazing because they, they give, off, give, off, give off a nice um, sort of sh uh, shadow which is sort of unique because these ones they don't really give us uh, give off as much why can't I say give off Jesus <laughs> um, they when they're together they give a lot of shadow and shade so like here you can have you can see I have three of them casting a big shadow here but when you have one or two um, with these tree fives they sort of give off a, a nice um, oh I struggled again <laughs> shadow contrasting with some light coming through as well so it just makes it look really natural really nice again the sun's over here and you can see the shadows working with the sun but anyway I hope you guys have enjoyed today's video if you have enjoyed today's video and it has helped you out a lot please let me know down in the comment section down below and why not give this video a like because that really does mean a lot to me and if you're brand new to the channel and you do like what you've seen and you like dinosaur videos make sure to uh, to subscribe to the channel because I do tend to post loads of um, videos about dinosaurs, especially dinosaur games. Um, I'm currently on Prehistoric Kingdom, Path of Titans, and also Jurassic World Evolution currently, and um, we are sort of moving on to Planet Zoo when it does come out, which is very exciting. But um, yeah, hopefully you guys have enjoyed. <laughs> I really do hope it has helped you out a lot. I think this still looks quite good. See, it just looks like up there is a completely different area than to down here, thanks to that rock painting. But anyway, hope you guys have enjoyed. Obviously, like, comment, and subscribe. Hope you guys had a wonderful day. It's been Swerve, and peace out.